Let us consider one simple example using Power World. We have a small five bus system with three generators. Generator one, two, and three. So if we go to edit mode and click on model explorer, we click on generators and go to the costs. What we see is generator one has a fixed cost of 373. Generator two has the highest fixed cost of 403 and generator three at bus four has the lowest cost of 253. If you look at the system, we have five different buses and all voltages are between 0.9 and 1.1. If we look at the number of lines, we see we have seven lines. None of the limits are violated. Everyone, all lines are between 100% um, of the limits. So we go back to the diagram. We go to run mode. We go to tools and then we select Newton power, Newton Raphson power flow, and then we solve our system. So as you can see from here, under such condition, when there are no line limits violation, we see the marginal price at each bus is the same. It's 15.98 at each bus. However, once we increase the load at one particular bus, for example, in bus five, and we see that the power flow is violated at line two five, we can now see that the LMP is different at different buses. This is because now we cannot use the cheapest generator, which is the generated bus four, to send more power at load bus five. So we might have to import power from more expensive buses, which is at bus one and bus two. So this kind of increases our entire operation costs. So this was a small example of uh, optimal power flow using a power world. This example is uh, from chapter 12 of the book Glover and Sherman. So you can always go back and play with this draw example to see what happens when you increase and decrease the locational the, the loads at different buses.